I hope everyone is doing really great. Today I woke up with the news of October 2020 visa bulletin and as expected the EB3 filing dates were accel accelerated much faster than EB2. So I was getting uh, lots of messages in WhatsApp regarding so many questions because I made a video on uh, I made a video on the procedure how to downgrade uh, EB2 to EB3. So if you have not watched that video, I'll be providing the link in the description as well as in the above cards. So please do watch that video before watching this one actually. So that will give you an entire idea. EB3 with the EB3 dates accelerating much faster than EB2. I know lots of you guys might fall into that bucket and you might have lots of questions actually. So that's the reason I wanted to make this video and I wanted to uh, I wanted to clarify and few things uh, so that there is no this video is just for informational purposes only every application is different so you have to check your attorney on your status of your application and uh, this video and whatever you are trying to search on the internet chats and everything those information will lead you in the right direction but it is not supposed to be treated as immigration advice and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe to my channel for entertainment and information related videos let's not waste time and get into the more details i wanted to be more clear on two dates actually so there are two dates filing as well as final action date so lots of people are getting confused regarding the difference between these two dates so i wanted to clarify on those two dates first before we jump on to the next topic so first of all the final action date is so if your priority date becomes current in the final action uh, chart then you can apply for green card and then you'll get your green card actually you, you and your family can apply for the green card the priority date is current in filing date chart that means that you are eligible to apply for the third stage that is i-485 as well as employment authorization document so this is the major difference between uh, final action date and the filing action date actually so right now your right now the filing action date for eb3 has accelerated a lot faster than eb2 actually so people are getting confused is this the right time to downgrade or not so uh, I wanted to remember you one thing back in 2015 this new filing date term has been used uh, introduced by um, USCIS so it's up to them if USCIS comes back and say hey you are not supposed to use this filing date for your application then all this melodrama all this melodrama gonna be stopped and you can get back to your work yeah seriously if USCIS comes back and say you have to use the final action date then you are done with it because the final action dates are almost in the uh, they, they just moved like one month ahead i guess so they're back in 20, 2009 and 2010 for both eb2 and eb3 so you don't need to worry about if uscs comes back and say filing dates can be used then you have to contact your employer and think about how to downgrade your eb2 to eb3 so this, so this is a very very important step first you need to contact your employer so as soon as your eb2 priority date becomes current in eb3 in the filing date chart and once uscs gives an approval hey you guys can go ahead and start using the filing charts then you need to contact your employer first i know you are observing a difference in the video and the light quality that's because i was completely done my video and i was about to post it and there were two new updates that came from uscs so i thought instead of making a new video it's on the same topic so instead of making a new video i thought i would squeeze that video into this one so that uh, everyone is on the same page and it would save you some time so today i think i think october 2020 is really an anticipating uh, update that was everyone waiting for so usa has flipped two times uh, uh, today uh, based on when you have to file the i-485 so i'm going to give you those details stay tuned and watch until then so uh, usa came back and initially said to start using the final action date which are in uh, which are like in 2009 2010 to start using those final action dates for filing i-485 adjustment of status application but within a few hours they flipped it back and now they are saying it's official now they are saying to start using the filing chart as the basis for applying the third stage i-485 adjustment of status and along with your employment authorization document so which is a really very good news so because in the eb3 uh, the filing date are around january 2015 actually so if your eb2 date is current or it's already passed in eb3 
check with your employer and try to downgrade it if possible try to downgrade it and uh, no one knows anything can happen in the in the month of november after election so it's up to you check with your employer and try to downgrade it uh, if, if you can do it actually so in the below description i'll be providing the official uscs link regarding accepting the filing date for the third stage of i-485 application actually again today they flipped it two times so if they flip it tomorrow don't blame me as of now while i was making this video and i was about to post it uscs officially said that it will be accepting the filing date as the basis for applying i-485 the third stage green card adjustment of status application. and here i wanted to introduce another important thing this is your employer petition it's not your petition it you are beneficiary this is this is your employer petition so it's up to your employer if he wants to downgrade or not so if your employer does not agree you can't do anything i can't do anything so first of all your employer needs to be on board with this one actually and there is also confusion regarding the premium processing so it is not recommended so based on the experience of different immigration attorneys that i reviewed it is not recommended to go with the premium processing but again it's you it's your money it's your employer money if you guys wanted to go with the premium processing you can go with the premium processing but there is a small uh, disclaimer here if your i-140 and perm was approved with the same service center that you are applying then you will be eligible for premium processing or else in any other scenario you will not be eligible for the premium processing when you are downgrading because your perm was already approved in the eb2 when you are downgrading from eb2 to eb3 you are just providing you are just downgrading uh, you are just downgrading the i-140 form simultaneously applying for the i-485 so that's an important point please do remember that the final thing what you should do if your eb2 priority date is not yet current in the eb3 i would say just wait don't even worry about all this because this is a completely a roller coaster ride actually so it can go back it can come whatever can you know much more than me right so if your priority date is not current in eb3 i would not even worry about it i would not even think about it just get back to your work all right guys stay home stay safe if you like this video please give out a thumbs up if you have any more questions please put them in the comments uh, and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe before you are leaving this video